if we click on the browse library tab we're gonna resize both the both the width of these uh, both the width of these uh, tabs and the actual width of our frame so let's resize our tab and the way we're gonna do that is just screen dot get tab pane dot set title at index one and again we're just gonna redefine redefine these make it uh, fill the right amount just because it looks nice I mean you don't have to it's just that if you don't do this if you don't do this this will happen let me show you as you can see here it doesn't resize so we're just gonna resize that by uh, changing the title changing the text by adding more spaces to make it longer we're gonna set the title to we're gonna get the filler again we're gonna add two fillers Add in two spaces, then browse library. Ooh, there's a fly. There's a fly in my goddamn room. God damn it. And another two spaces. And two more fillers. So just copy and paste this. Paste it over here. And put the semicolon. And now control shift F, there you go. This resizes our uh, our tab, as you can see, it gets becomes longer. Now we also need to resize our actual actual frame. So screen dot set size to 360 by 440 and now what if we're going from what if we're going from browse library tab to add book tab we need to revert our changes we need to set it back to the original uh, sizes. So let's do that. So uh, it's very simple. All we're going to do is head on over to your library interface and just copy this where it says browse library copy it no not, not this one just the first parameter copy I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna say screen dot get tabbed pane dot set title at again index zero because that's the only thing we've resized and now we just need to say screen dot get filler against okay, delete these copy this
And we also need to revert the size of our screen back to its original size. The original size was 320 by 460. And now if you actually run this application, it's going to be like this. Well, and we're still getting some stuff here. But we'll fix that. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, if you run your application right now, it's not doing anything when you change the tabs because we still haven't added the tab listener. Sorry about that. So now that we've implemented the uh, change listener, we need to add the change listener to our tab pane. And we're going to do that is go to your uh, library system constructor and uh, get the tab pane add change listener and this and by saying this it's good this okay this add change listener expects a change listener since our class is implementing the change listener by putting this this keyword the Java compiler is going to look at our class and it's going to look at if we're actually implementing the change listener and yes we are and then it's going to look for our state change method which we implemented right here so now if you run the code it'll actually resize and everything Pretty cool. Alright, but we're still missing we're still missing one thing though. And let me show you what that is. If we have some data like this, as you can see, by default, these are editable. The user can click on it, double click on it, and then they can edit the uh, the stuff, the data that's inside. Now, when they click out, the actual data in our table model is actually it's actually uh, changed. Um, now, we we don't want to do that yet, yet because it's going to create some problems for us. I mean maybe maybe we want to do that later we want to want to have you know we want to let the user edit these fields when we want to add a feature uh, when we want to add the uh, a change feature when we want to let the user change like uh, the title name or the, the author or the price name but I'm gonna leave that for some other time for now because um, that that might get a little complicated, and if it gets complicated, then this really isn't a simple library anymore. So we're gonna avoid doing that, and 